important and which are even more important to perhaps than to do this verbal or uh, traditional gathering or having uh, a celebration in our houses only for some time and that's it. In one of the, the actual real melad, what we need to learn and what we need to understand, brothers remember, it's not for one day. Many of the scholars who argue the point that we should not celebrate it on one fixed day, the point they raise is that the milad, in fact, the remembrance of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam and the amal on the hadith on the commandments of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam in fact that should be the routine of every day of our life. It should not only be specified to one day. The ayats of the Holy Quran from Surah al Ahzab, which I have recited in front of you I just want to draw your attention to the last one. وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ بِأَنَّ لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ فَضْلًا كَبِيرًا Subhanallah. That indeed there are good news for the believers and blessings for the believers, particular blessing for the believers in the arrival in the teachings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. We need to understand, brothers, what are those particular special blessings which we and rewards which we enjoy, alhamdulillah, and which we have been granted, particularly through the wasila of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There is a hadith of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there are five things which Allah has granted to my ummah and which has not been granted to any of the ummahs before. There are five things. What are those five things? In very short, because uh, second Juma, uh, it's a half one, the Jamaat time. The first one, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that my ummah is the last ummah. In the sense that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that sense, the Holy Prophet وسلم, said that my ummah is the last ummah on the face, face of earth. But inshallah, they will have the honor on the day of judgment that they will be the first ummah to enter the paradise, inshallah, on the day of Qiyamah. This is one very, very big in Am, which we as the Ummati of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have in our life. What we need to understand, brother, why, I mean, there is a reason why we have been given this very, very special Inam. And what is that reason? This is very, very important elements and very important message which we need to understand and learn. The basic, very particular reason for that is that the ummah of the Holy Prophet ﷺ means we have a responsibility to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the message of the Holy Prophet ﷺ in our lives to the coming generation. This was the job in fact performed by the prophets in other ummahs and not by the, by the followers of those prophets. And because of this responsibility and because no prophet will come after the arrival of the Holy Prophet وسلم, that's why Allah has put this responsibility on the ummah of the Holy Prophet وسلم, to convey the message of good. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas ta'muruna bil ma'roof to convey this message of bil ma'roof of good to the people and stop them and to inform them what is not to do what is forbidden in the religion and what is not good for as humans as being humans for uh, in general to the people of other faiths this is the responsibility Allah has placed on our shoulders as the ummati last ummat of the 
uh, last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the reward, the reward, the in'am, which the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has informed us about, that we will be the first ummah to enter into the paradise on the day of judgment comes because of this, that because we perform that role which the prophets of other ummahs used to perform in their times. This is very, very important. We need to ask ourselves, brothers, we live in a community if we think about right exactly the sort of community in the times of the Holy Prophet and in the times of the companions of the Holy Prophet they were living with. We are living almost the same sort of community. Our next door neighbors may belong to a different faith or even sometimes they are nil faith as well. We see, see, we have a responsibility every day and night. In fact, the brothers back in Muslim countries, for example, in Pakistan, the brothers in other Muslim countries, we have a bigger responsibility as compared to them in, the, in terms that we are living among the people who are of other faiths, who are sometimes even non-believers. And we have to express that we are the followers, the best of the ummah which the Quran has declared us as the best of the ummah. We have to show them through our characters, through our good manners, through our best way of living, that we are the best, as the Quran has mentioned, the followers of the ummah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second blessing, the second in'am which we have been given, which we have been granted through the blessings, particularly through the blessings of the arrival of the Holy Prophet وسلم, is that the Holy Prophet وسلم, that my ummah had been granted with one night in the Islamic calendar. The ibadat of that night, it is khayrum min alfi shahar. The ibadat of that night is one night ibadat is better than the ibadat of thousand nights. Now this blessing has not been granted to any of the other ummat, any of the other followers of other prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, one of the ayat of the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Araf, قَالَ يَا مُوسَىٰ إِنِّ اسْتُفَيْتُكَ عَلَى النَّاسِ بِرِسَالَاتِ وَبِكَلَامِ فَخُذْ مَا آتَيْتُكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاكِرِينَ under the background of revelation of this ayat of the Holy Quran, the scholars have mentioned a very, very beautiful, uh, very beautiful narration, very beautiful uh, message. In the times of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, he, in the Torah, there is a mention of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is a mention of the blessings. The owners which the ummah of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam will, uh, will enjoy. He was studying that and when Hazrat Musa alayhi salam reached to this blessings, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that the last ummah, the ummah of the last Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will have a night and the worship of that one particular night will be greater than the worship of thousand nights. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam instantly do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma dukhulni ummata Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah include me among the ummat of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. Now this is when Hazrat Musa alayhi salam do this dua, many of the scholars have the opinion that this ayat of Surah Al-Araf was revealed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Qala ya Musa inni stafaiduk ala nas. O Musa, don't forget. We have given you very, very big honors as well. We have chosen you among all of the other people on the face of earth. Ala nas. Biri salati. We have also made the prophet. Wabi kalami. And you are the only one who enjoy the honor of being able to directly converse with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have given you big blessings as well. Fakhud ma ataituk. Hold that strong in your hand. Wakum mina shakirina and be among the patient, among the people, among those who are sabirin, shakirin and who, who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about this, brothers. The prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
you used to do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to include us among the ummati of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We must need to understand, brothers, all these blessings which we enjoy through the wasilah of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because of the arrival of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, equal to that, we also have responsibilities upon ourselves as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfeeq to follow the beautiful teachings of the Holy Quran, to follow the beautiful teachings of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amin summa amin umalayna indal barakum. Mashallah.